The Chief Justice, Mrs. Justice Georgina Theodora Wood, has challenged the Gingpa Law School to strive to link its curricula to provide the blueprint the country needs to blaze the trail for its public-private partnership agenda. She said although the PP concept can be very complex, an effective drafting of such contracts would require legal expertise and Gimpa must lead the campaign in providing the legal mechanisms, training and staff the government needs to sustain the PPP policy. This is because it is the surest way for the country to develop its infrastructure. The Chief Justice was speaking at the 14th Congregation of the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration in Accra. The Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, GEMPA, has arranged its academic calendar such that its students are able to graduate within a month of completing their last exams instead of six months after. The 14th congregation ceremony saw students from the Faculty of Law, the Business School, the School of Public Service and Governance, and the School of Technology graduating with bachelor's as well as master's degrees. In its quest for expansion, GEMPA currently has three satellite campuses in Tema, Takrade, and Kumasi, with a student population of 230 on the three campuses. The institution says its biggest project this year is the ongoing installation of an enterprise resource planning system to help to integrate and support an effective system for managing students' affairs, finances, human resource, payroll, and other operations. Other infrastructure projects include the retrofitting of the first and only moot court facility in the country at the Faculty of Law, commencement of the construction of a cafeteria that will provide for better delivery of quality food services. In terms of human resource management, we continue to strengthen the quality of our faculty. The business school has added a number of PhD holders and is a leader in the proportion of PhD qualified faculty in Ghana for a business school, and I dare say in much of sub-Saharan Africa. The chair of the governing council of GEMPA, Dr. Christina Amwakunyama, entreated the graduates to work towards addressing the leadership and management challenges in their profession. Guest speaker for the occasion, Justice Georgina Wood, urged the institution to restructure its curricula around business, public policy and governance at all times, explaining that this will enable them to offer courses relevant to the development aspirations of the country. The similarities between an efficient legal system sustained by competently trained legal practitioners and a tertiary education policy framed by a robust national development strategy should be clear to see. Both can be an effective attraction for investors. Deserving teaching as well as non-teaching staff and graduating students received awards. Fanny Nana Ampon, GBC 24, Accra.